Hi everyone, welcome back to the Stylings and Sisters, Bree here. So, a lot has been happening since I last saw you guys. The last time I saw you guys, I did a Hot Topic haul. Hot Topic is like, legitly my new favorite store. Like one time I was studying with a bunch of friends, and my one friend's like, we all know what Bree's doing. <laughs> I was online shopping at HotTopic.com. Hot Topic is like my f favorite store in the whole world. I don't have one here, like we don't have a store here in Thunder Bay, but there's one in Toronto and there's one in Winnipeg and there's also a bunch in the States. But um, anyway, moving alongside besides me blabbing on about Hot Topic, um, college has been so stressful you guys. Last semester was the toughest semester I've ever had. I had three exams and classes from Monday to Wednesday. It was so stressful. I ended up failing my exams, but I managed to pass the class. I was so lucky. Like, all of us in my program, we all studied for the exams. We all knew what was going to be on it. We were well aware. But when it came time to actually doing the exam, we all panicked and freaked out because it's not what we expected it to be. And because of that, we ended up all failing, but we all still passed, thank God. And this semester is a little less stressful. We were supposed to have placement five days a week, which would mean like 360 hours. But our program coordinator was nice enough to cut back, I think it was 25 hours he cut off. And instead of going to placement Monday to Friday, we're going to placement Monday, I'm like, ugh. Tuesday to Friday and we only have one class which is on Monday which is not so bad and this one class that we have has like no homework no test no quiz no exam no nothing it is so easy just show up do some in class stuff and that's it so this semester has been so much easier so far less stressful it's just I think this has been one of my favorite semesters so far since I've been in college. I've been in college now for four years. When I first started, I was in the early childhood education program. I didn't complete that program because it wasn't for me. Then I took one class under the general arts and sciences, I think it was, and then I transitioned into a program that I did for two years because it was a two-year program graduated that last year and then I got to transition into second year into the recreation therapy program which I'm in now and I'll be done in April and then I'll be graduating in June so I can't wait to be finished college once and for all and I can't wait to get my dream job which is being a recreation therapist people always ask me what is a recreation therapist it's like basically to sum up to the way that I understand it it's um you plan programs, special events for people, um, let's see, what can I name an example, um, I actually got to implement an icebreaker, an icebreaker is like a short activity to get to know everybody, so the icebreaker that I did was, um, I had the participants each get a piece of paper, and on that piece of paper, they had to write down five things that are their favorite. Can be things, people, can be anything they want it to be. And then at the end, they had to choose one thing off their list and say why that one's their favorite. So it was a pretty cool little icebreaker that we did. Another program that I actually got to implement was. Let's see. Oh, I didn't get to implement the one yet. Sorry, I lied. I'm going to be doing a baking program with the participants at my placement, and I think in like two, three weeks from now. I'm going to be doing a baking program with them. I was thinking of baking my red velvet white chocolate chip cookies or doing my red velvet chocolate chip cheesecake bars. The secret to my cheesecake bars is that the crust is, um, Red velvet cake mix, and then the top part is obviously cheesecake. So I was just mm, throwing around which one would be more easier and less time consuming. So I'm leaning more towards the cookies because I think cookies take or take 
not that much time whereas cheesy butters will take forever so I'm probably gonna do the cookies cuz they take less time to bake and it's fun and the participants can roll the cookies in their hands and get messy and just have a really good time oh my god I really need a haircut I haven't had a haircut since I'll say I think it was September or the end of summer I got a haircut I really need a haircut my hair is like a lion's mane I can't tame it the trouble with me is whenever I say I need a haircut I don't go and call my hairdressers because I, I either forget I don't have time or I don't know what day will work best to go in for a haircut but um yeah I really need a haircut really bad oh my god I am so tired I don't know if you guys can tell but I got like bags under my eyes oh my god this has been a long haul with this stupid cold but hopefully crossing my fingers it goes away soon cause I don't want to be sick anymore. Uh, anyway, besides me complaining about me still being sick, I hope you guys had a wonderful Christmas. I know I did. I got a new baby cousin. She is just, oh, she's adorable. And I got lots of stuff. I only got... Three things off of Hot Topic, which I already knew what they were because I picked them out. And then my grandmother ordered them for me. So, that was my big Christmas present that I got this year. Um, I'd say 2018 was alright. Hopefully 2019 will be nicer to me. Who knows? But, um, I was coming up with some New Year's resolu resolu uh, resolutions. And, um... I have one, but I haven't started on the one yet. My goal is to go back to the gym and work out and be more active and everything. But that plan got put on the back burner as I am still sick and I don't want to go to the gym ill and coughing my brains out. So I'm putting that on back burner until... I feel a lot better. I'm not so sick and stuffy and icky and gross. Um, the last time I was sick actually would have to be back in 2016, three years ago, when I had pneumonia again. I've had pneumonia three times in my life. I had it in when I was in grade five, which is like 12 years ago. Then, I had it again in 2015 when I was vomiting for a month, and the doctors didn't know why. Turns out, num turns out vomiting is one of the symptoms of pneumonia, which I never knew that. And then I got it again a year later, 2016, and I haven't gotten it since then. Thank God I do not need it again. Pneumonia is a chest infection, and it's, like, not fun at all. So... I ended up spending a week off of school because I've been sick and it just won't, it just won't seem to go away. So in my spare time now, I have been watching YouTube videos like crazy. I've been watching Ben Phillips, he's one of my favorite YouTubers, he does a lot of pranks. And I've also been watching, who else? Been watching a lot of So Cassie. Um, what's another one? Brittany Louise Taylor. I've been watching her a lot. I actually read her story, A Sucky Love Story. You guys should go read it. It's like, wow. That woman is so brave and so strong. She's such an inspiration to all. Go check out A Sucky Love Story. It's on the, you can get it off of... The bookstore, what bookstore, yeah, you can get it off books 
for iPhone. Yeah, you can get it at the bookstore for iPhone. Um, so this is the sucky last story. My camera will actually focus. That's a story that I've been like, been like, been reading a lot besides watching YouTube videos. Um, what else? I haven't been on Twitter all that much, but I'll have my Twitter and Instagram down below if you guys to go and check it out. Um, I changed the just uh, the about about this channel. So the backstory about this channel, I don't think I told you guys, but anyway, I originally started this channel with my two internet friends, and but we started posting videos galore, and now one of my internet friends has moved on and decided to to her own channel, which you guys probably know who I'm talking about, Grace. She used to post on here, but she has her own channel now, which I totally support her. So now I think I'm just going to keep this channel as my own. I'm not going to change the name. I was debating on changing the name, but I don't think I will. Um, because before in the description of all the videos that I posted be follow our Instagram, which would be, you know, Instagram. This our Instagram, well... Now I, it's my Instagram, it's my One Direction Man account. That's Instagram I always put in the description at the end of every video that I post. So just to make life easier, instead of saying our, just follow my my One Direction Man account Instagram down below as well as my Twitter. I post there when I can. But um, anyway, I'm going to end this one taker. But, um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I will promise you guys that I will post videos when I can. It probably won't be every day, but it'll just be whenever I get the chance to. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you are brand new. And, as well, follow my Instagram and Twitter, though they will be down below as well and um that's it for this video and i will catch up with you guys in my next video bye